Well, good morning, everybody. We're on our third day out fishing in a row. It's been pretty slow out here, um, catching some bottom fish. I may end up putting two or three videos together just to show what's going on. Not too much excitement when you bottom fish, just pretty much vertical stuff. But we're gonna try it again today and hopefully we can get some lean cod and maybe try for some petrol. It depends on what the ocean does for us today. It's supposed to be pretty nice, big swells, but not much wind until later. So we're gonna give that a try. But I appreciate you tuning in. And if you like this video, I hope you subscribe, watch my other ones too, and give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and please do hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. It makes me feel good. Appreciate it. Anyway, stick around. We're gonna be on our way in a minute. Well, first thing this morning, we saw some fish on the meter here, so we're gonna try to get those. We're in about 64 feet of water. Fish are about 30. Hopefully we can uh, get a couple of bites right here. First cast this morning, I already had a bite, but I lost him trying to turn the camera on. So I'll just turn the camera on and let it run for a bit. It is a beautiful morning. Normally this time of year in August, or September now, these fish will ball up, big schools of them. And they did it earlier in the year, but now they're really spread out, so they're kind of hard to find. If you get a, an area that they are relating to, with the wind and the drift pushes you over the top of them. If you're not on them right away, you don't catch them. Again. So you know, we started out 35 feet, now we're in 62 feet, 60 feet, and uh, we're off them now. If you don't see any fish on the mid, you usually don't catch any. So we're going to go back and reposition ourselves and try it again. You see me looking back all the time. I'm looking at that meter to see where we are and see if we're on the fish or not. See how deep they are. Using a half ounce weight on these swim baits. Trying to get down to 60 feet of water with the boat moving the current. Anyway, got a little rockfish here, probably three and a half pounds, I guess, is a good one. It's on a little swim bait, swimming back to the boat. You can see him suspended in about 20 feet, and we're in, in about 40 feet. So we'll keep this guy, he's a good eater. This water was, last week, earlier in the week when we were fishing, it was 46 degrees, and we're thinking that's why the fishing was off so bad. It was in the mid-50s before that. So yesterday got, last two days it got up to around 50, 52. We had a big hard blow last night. I mean, the wind just howling 40 miles an hour. And uh, cold his water off again, it's 46 degrees. I think it makes this fish a little bit lethargic. You really have to kind of entice them with small baits, something slow. So we'll just cast them behind the boat, retrieving down, let it sink down, which I think is 20 feet. And that's how I got that bite on the last one. It's still real sporadic. There's no big schools of this like the normal one. I'll show you what we're looking at here. And this is kind of what all the fish were seeing at one point. So, these, are the, these are the fish we're fishing for. We're just kind of drifting slow over them. They're about 40 feet of water. And uh, like I say, we're letting it sink down 20, 30 feet and just swimming it right through these. And uh, it seems to be working okay. Now you can see over here, this is what we're doing. You can see these lines going back and forth here. That's where we, we started on a drift over here, and now we're drifting down there. When we get to that point, we're in too deep of water, then we drift, start back over, and we drift down again. 
and you got to watch the way your boat's drifting. You know, we're drifting due south right now, so when you stop the boat, you want to make sure the boat's pointing in that direction, so that's the way you drift instead of the boat spinning on you. It gives you more fishing time, so we'll see what Dick's doing out here. He, since he doesn't have any fish on yet, I thought he would have one. But... You got one on yet? Not yet. <laughs> It's really still pretty slow fishing. It's not, it's not red hot, that's for sure. We found the fish feeding on top. I'm not sure what they're eating. Oh, he hit it good too. Cast it out and just let it sink down. that stop and go. Guarantee the fish right there. What, you don't like me over here? <laughs> right there, right there, Dick. Right behind the boat. Oh. There's one. Again. Yes, sir. A good one. You guys could be here and do this. This really is a lot of fun. If you like this video, like some things I do, please hit that subscribe button and that like button too. It really means a lot. I know I keep harping on it, but it's got one on it. That's all I'm gonna say. You better can't we might have close to a limit now. On a surface like this, you really need to have a calm like it is right now. No wind, no wind chop. We can just see him thinning, you can see the bait jumping. That kind of stuff, and that's what we're looking for right now. So there's surfacing right here next to me. Oh, I just had a bite, Dick. I lost them. Oh, come back and hit it again. They keep hitting it. There he is. Oh, so we can see him down there. There he is. There he is. Oh, I hope I got that on camera. <laughs> oh, there's like five or six. There he is again. Oh, man. Straight into the boat. 
I hope that was a gym. There's four or five of them swatting at it. Oh, they're boiling right by the boat here. <laughs> oh my gosh. As you can see, we caught some real nice rockfish. Dick gets to take some nice fish home with him. Now we're going to try for some ling cod. We did catch a few, just above keeper size. I think a 23 and a 26 incher. Those are good eating too, but I had a great time all in all. Yeah, 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 Well, we're about ready to call it a day. It's about two o'clock. We've got a great day today. Found some new places. This is kind of cool. We're excited to try that. We're going to go tomorrow. Dick's going home on Thursday, so he's got one more day fishing with me. But uh, here's our catch today. We got the one lean cod. We got the five black rockfish. We did catch some a couple small trolleys. Not uh, worth mentioning. But now we're going to go back in and. Uh, I'm going to fillet these. I've got this electric knife here a while back. Uh, actually, it's battery operated, by, made by Bubba. I want to show you how good that thing works on these black rockfish. So, uh, stick around for a few more minutes. So, anyway, we're going to clean this rockfish um, with this electric clay knife. This is by Bubba. Tell you what, this thing is so slick, this battery lasts forever. So this is the third time probably I've cleaned 10 fish with it in the last week and a half, I guess. Uh, 10 fish each time, so probably 30 fish with it and some ling cod. So over here a little bit closer. Maybe you can see how that works. So just like regular filet, we'll just come down. Just like that, flip it over. Doesn't get any easier than that. And then, uh, of course, you always have to take the rib bones out. But we can do that with a. Doesn't really work that good with, for that. I mean, it does okay. Might waste a little bit more, but, but not too bad. You're gonna have to take the rib bones out anyway. So, let's flip her over. Let's try on that side over there. You do have to be careful though, because you can cut right through them if you're not paying too much attention. You know? We bled these fish too. And look at a nice piece of nice white meat you have there. I heard they have another knife, a new new version of this Bubba knife now, but and, uh, I heard it's even better than this one, if that's possible. Anyway, don't leave too much meat on there at all. Ready for the next one.